With us now is Miss Stanley. How are you this evening? Fantastic and excited. <laughs> yeah, what a glorious night. Tell us your thoughts about this evening. Well, I'm, I was so honored when they called and said that I was, you know, going to be um, a part of the Legends of Vinyl, so Hall of Fame. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and I see your husband uh, standing by yeah. you in support. How long have you guys been together and what does it mean to you to have his support tonight? Well, it's very funny because he's my first husband and my third. <laughs> oh! And my last, and my last. My everything. So he started my career with me, and okay. then uh, we divorced for many years, and then we ran into each other again, and oh we've been gosh. together now almost 11 years back. Yeah, that's definitely uh, song-worthy. I think you have to write a song I about do, that. No, I do. I have to write a song about that. Yeah. And he's the love of my life. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is so fantastic. So I had asked you uh, in the green room earlier about what you consider your three favorite big highlight moments for you personally, and they were? Wow, give me a second. Okay. My three, I'd say, um, well, one of the three biggest highlights was the very first time I ever heard one of my songs on the radio. I was riding in Boston and Kiss FM played it and I remember screaming out the window to the poor car next to me because he had it on the radio. I'm saying, that's me, that's me. And that did you was, sing along with it? Oh, I was singing. Okay, so here like, we go. Wait, let's pretend. Okay, I'm like, I'm driving here, driving here. And all you're like, that's me, that's me. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I got to sing with Frank Sinatra. That was a big highlight. Oh, wow. Tell uh, us about that. This was wild. I was asked to do Lee Iacocca's retirement party. Okay. And so they, I came out, and I had this wonderful band with me. And so I, I see the band, and I'd come out of the, the green room to check my makeup and stuff. And so I walk up, and I'm standing there, and this guy looks at me, and he's this close to me, and he goes, what you drinking, girly? And I was like, and it was Frank Sinatra this close. Well, I, I couldn't hardly speak. I just went. I was starstruck. Orange juice. I said, orange juice. And he was like, orange juice? Get your own drink. <laughs> Frank so then, anyway, the party started. And uh, Frank came up and sang on stage. It was thrilling. Oh, my gosh. That was, and what that song, was real. And what song did he sing? Do you remember it? Oh, did he you? did 40 minutes with our band. I mean, Lovely. I got off the stage after he got off. Okay, okay. <laughs> He was wonderful. Oh, he did them all. He did Come Fly With Me. He uh -huh. did Night and Day. Nice. You know, he did. And then the next night we were invited to his show there. So it was wonderful. That's a good one. And okay. let's see. Uh, you're, I'm trying to think. You're awesome. This is so much fun. I'm having fun with this interview with you. Another wonderful time. You know what I'm thinking? The first time that the DJ Awards ever came around, okay. and it was the Dixie Dance Kings, and I remember uh, getting my first, like, Artist of the Year Award, going up and, and coming into, the, it was the Peachtree Plaza in Atlanta, and I just remember that was my first big hoopla with all the DJs and all the artists. That was exciting. And one other time that was sure. really great, um, a lot of times they booked all the disco acts together, so sometimes it would be uh, me and the Weather Girls and um, Evelyn Champagne King and Anita Ward and Linda Clifford, you know, we'd all get together and they would book us around the country in these theaters. And they were the best times with those girls. Your own sorority. It was. It was a wonderful weekend with those girls. I <laughs> so. love that. And when you're uh, at home, what are you singing around your house now? What song comes to you? Can you give us a few bars of that? You won't believe it, but I sing so much. I do everything from Ella Fitzgerald to Tina Turner to Donna Summer. I do, when I come and do a show, I don't just do my music. Right? I do everything. Nice. So I am never, I do Rihanna, I do, so there's never a time, ask Chris, I am always practicing new music. Lovely. All the time. And how about today? What was today's song that you're singing? Today? <laughs> Actually, I was practicing my own because <laughs> right? I have to sing tonight. I'm like, oh my gosh, why I didn't do it? And a one, and a two, and a three. I'm coming out of hiding. I'm coming out of hiding. We have been backstage here. Tonight's a wonderful night, and we're just celebrating the arts. We're celebrating vinyl and all that means to us. So yes. continued success on your happiness Thank journey. You so much. And I really do want you to write a song about your love I life. Think I mean, a good idea. I think so too, because <laughs> you're probably not the first person that would marry someone twice. No, right? I'm, 
what's her face did? Um, Marie Osmond. Marie Osmond. Yeah. That's right. They, I'm not the first, and I mean, I'm not and Elizabeth the Taylor. She married That's, him twice, and you know, at least I have twice. I tell you, a lot of times you meet, you meet the love of your life when yes. you're young, but you're not mature enough, and you lose him. And then I got a second chance. Yeah, I, think that I, I definitely think <laughs> there's like a Grammy in the future for this. You know, I really do. I'm like already hearing it in my head. And, the, and, you, and you could say that it all was inspired from this exact moment. They're right. They're right. There we go. Donna, all right. thank you. You're welcome. Stay tuned for more. We've been living it up right here backstage.